subscribe to Miss Mary Mark channel. In London town, finally, summer loaded. Uh, going market shopping with my mom, and right now we're in East Street Market. I'm gonna carry you guys along with me. How many four? Yeah. Is it this time for four? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, for the resort, yeah. Why? Because you will be famous in YouTube. Now you see. It's me that's making it now. Yes, they're going to change that one. No word of a lie, my mum is a G when it comes to what do you call it? Haggling. Haggling. They are right. You want more right now? No, 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 no. That's right. My photo. Hi, boss. How are you? Okay? Good. I'm five for you, man. Yeah, five is fine. Uh, sorry, my man had you five, you know. My man, Rabi, two pounds. Yeah. Anyway, who was straight for the world? It's just 2020 pay. You have to pay more farmer than the one in the market. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why I come here. You only really want a nice hand. I can't remember. I think it's one pound. How big is it? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. You want a very big one? No. Small one. Two for three fifty. Two for three fifty. I brought them. Shall we go find where I'll be supposed to When I'm when I'm feeling it like that, when I'm feeling it like that, I'm feeling it like that. She's changing it. Hello, hello, hello. Advertise yourself. I love you. Finished at East Street Market. Bought a lot of stuff. Woo, it's hot. Woo. I wore the wrong clothes. I'm so hot. We can go to the one in Peckham, but no that's still carrying. Yeah. This one has a parking space. Yeah. There's one in uh, Old Kent Road. The one by. Eight or five. That's what's best for the country. No final decisions. Aldi. We're looking at the data as it. Iceland. And as the Prime Minister said, bigger one like this. Sure I don't know. It's there before eight or five on the left. I don't know. Unless they close it. The variant, I don't know about that. Okay. As I was saying, we're going to Peckham. I've got meat to buy now. And then from there. Do the like supermarket shopping in terms of like the Iceland, the Tesco's. No, you guys wait. My mum's arguing with me. I'm telling her that this is called the food warehouse because that's what it says at the front of the store. She's telling me it's called Iceland. Wait. <laughs> anyway, I know it's Iceland. It's not, how's it Iceland? It's called the food warehouse. Iceland is food warehouse. No, it's not. Iceland is Iceland. Okay. Oh, anyway, why I, I when they when I when I know they were here, they are they were here at Iceland, Abby. Yeah. So unless sure. you change, we'll see. I mean, I've never heard of the food warehouse before in my life, but we'll see now. she was so adamant. There's an Iceland in Old Kent Road. I was like, where? Like where? Okay. Warehouse, right? My mom just wants to argue with me. Mommy, only five pounds. Give me five pounds. I don't know why. Huh? Want to get another one? 
And they have a one thirty for twelve fifty. I think the nine pounds. How much is one hundred? Hundred is nine pounds. Yeah, that makes more sense. What do you use? I'll use whatever's on offer. But usually, sir. That's what I told uh, my friend. I said I'll buy whatever that is on offer. What did she say? She said to me. My mom said, "Tell your people. <laughs> Tell your people I'm right." Okay, guys, who is right? Okay. For me, this is not Iceland. It is the food warehouse. However, the receipt says the food warehouse by Iceland. I, so it's all Iceland offer that I saw. That's what we got from here. But technically, it's called the food warehouse, though. I don't know. If you, <laughs> if you go to Iceland itself, Iceland, Iceland. It has the same offers. As it, and it says, and it says in that uh, thing that it says. Iceland food warehouse. Uh, in what thing? Oh, the, the, in their receipts. The leaflet you were showing me? Yeah. It said Iceland food warehouse. I just feel like this is just like maybe a bigger version of Iceland. Well. Or like what would they, they would call their food warehouse basically. Yeah. But they didn't want to call it Iceland. Yeah. Food warehouse by Iceland. Whatever. It's like their sister store. Yeah. As no, I, I promise, like, and even, even it's, it, it was. It's My mom just was okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, like you have tex, uh, Tesco Extra. That's, but they don't, they don't call it Iceland Extra or whatever. Like my mom said, all the offers they have here, they have in, in okay. Iceland yeah. anyway. And even some of the stuff that they they're selling says Iceland on it, as opposed to the food warehouse. So I guess she wins, but she doesn't get any money off of me. So whatever. Neither do I have to pay you. <laughs> Neither does she have to pay me. But yeah, that was successful. Apart from the fact they never had spinach, but we can get that in Peckham. That's easy to carry. Yeah, yeah, that's not heavy. So off to Peckham we go. I oh, know we're going to that guy. Uh, you can turn from right though, isn't it? So do you want to do, can you turn at the top there? Where, where? Isn't there a... Yeah, yeah, turning to the, as if I'm going to... This is where my mum uses to send things to Nigeria. Uh, can you see that sign? It's just off Old Kem Road. So B, B and M is right there. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, so BM is opposite this road. On the corner there is a restaurant called Talking Drum. It works out cheaper if you... You know, like, usually... Well, <laughs> I know my mum likes to send a lot of things to Nigeria. So usually when she goes once a year, she'll just pay extra luggage. But they've increased the price of the extra luggage, you know? So she finds just cargo in it by ship, I believe this is. Um, it's cheaper and she can send more things so if you've got like bulky items I personally think cargo in is better assuming the prices of these I don't know how much it is to be honest but um, yeah that's what I have to really say I should have recorded all the things she's sending but basically it was a 21 inch floor fan that's that's the box for the fan right there so that flo floor fan she also sent a sewing machine, one of those rolly um, suitcases. I don't know how to describe them. They kind of look like the. It looks like a big briefcase, but it has wheels and you can pull it like you're pulling a carry-on. So um, I said that my cousin could use it for her makeup stuff because she's a makeup artist. And then there was another small luggage that you can use as a carry-on that she also sent so we'll see how much it all costs to send that how much did it cost 80 pounds i was telling them that it's usually cheaper to cargo as opposed to yeah because uh, it's going to take six weeks to get there yeah so if you are in a hurry if you're in a hurry no you need to give six weeks or more 
Yeah, or more because it depends. And it's going by ship, right? Yeah, it's going by ship. I am Ruth Brown. I am what? I am Ruth Brown. guys I've come from listening to the lovely lady I forgot her name you know Ruth Ruth Brown come from listening to her just down the road in Beckham now I'm seeing someone strumming on a guitar opposite me are Nigerians it's just everything everything's happening down there mate <laughs> my mom is rude my mom said, what is this one carrying around? I don't know if you can see it already, but the guitar. She's like, she should come up here and listen to what a real artist is doing. Bad mind. Um, say something, it's on YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. Which channel are you at? Miss Mary Mack. Miss Mary Mack. Okay, Miss Mary now. <laughs> we have nice food. Fish, vegetable, later. Get the 
from his last. I've heard it. Yeah, yeah. Her date is shy. The next day.